Yeah, I am now live. Hi, everybody. Of Adrian, I want to thank them one more time. The guys at Rat Tail, Chris and Adrian, for the lovely, lovely Valentine I received. I had it handy here just to share it with you guys. Isn't that the best? And a beautiful message on the back. I just love it. And my Wicked Rat Tail shot glass, which I've used quite a few times. <laughs> Welcome everybody. I have so many exciting things to let you guys know about that are coming up <laughs> for all the, uh, well, first of all, I'm going to go over some stuff that's going on with Dope Nostalgia in the coming springtime. We have uh, huge, more huge interviews coming up with some of the biggest stars from that era, like Tara Kemp. Do you guys remember Tara Kemp? Let me know if you do. Show me those hearts. <laughs> She's going to be on the show next week. Um, Canadian, huge Canadian singer Biff Naked is on the show coming up. Uh, Slick Toxic, also another Canadian band. And our first country artist, two out of three members of the Canadian country group Farmer's Daughter are going to be on the show. So lots of Canadians coming up uh, on Dope Nostalgia in the springtime. I am also needing your guys' help because I'm working. Hi, everybody. <laughs> JK Love NKOTB. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working on um, doing an episode about Tommy Page and his life and career, and I've been trying to get people to come on and just um, talk a little bit about Tommy Page and what he meant to you, some of the people he's worked with in the past. I'm trying to get them to come on and just talk about their favorite memories of Tommy Page. So if you want to come on the show and talk about Tommy Page, if he was somebody who you loved and adored and want to support uh, his past career, just send me a DM, okay? And I'll get you on Dope Nostalgia and we'll talk Tommy Page all day, all night. Sound good? All right. Well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> I think you guys, oh, yes, Brooke and Nikki, you could come talk Tommy Page with me. I would love that. Mm hmm. I'm pretty sure that will be a great episode. And I want to make it big and exciting to pay proper tribute to him. So, yes, we're going to do a Tommy episode. Now, another um, shout out I want to give. Well, first of all, how many of you guys are coming over from Joey McIntyre's live right now? Isn't that great? I feel bad because I didn't know he had a live today. And then I saw I was going to do my test run, which I did with Kelly earlier. Thank you, Kelly, for the help. Um, are you, wasn't that like I was shaking. Okay, Nikki, I was shaking when I saw it. Like they brought John in and Jordan was with him. I just about died. I was like, oh, no, wow. So that was like the highlight of my day. <laughs> Hands up, you guys just all came over from Joey Joe. So Kelly um, did a, a test run with me on how to invite people in here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, first of all, let you guys know what's going on and then I'm gonna invite uh, some of you all in here. Did you die, Bethy? <laughs> Like, everyone was like freaking out. <laughs> we didn't see that coming. I should show you guys my wall, my office wall, because like there's a few cool moments of my life that I want to remember always. So isn't that fun? <laughs> I love that wall. And I get to look at it while I work all day. Sweet. Okay. Now, uh, another thing about Dope Nostalgia I was going to talk to you about is something really exciting with uh, partnership with two amazing online radio stations. Um, the first being No More Games Radio, who aired the very uh, first time an episode of Dope Nostalgia this afternoon at 5 p.m. Eastern. So every Saturday going forward now for, at 5 p.m. Eastern, you're going to be able to hear Dope Nostalgia live on No More Games Radio. And I'm so happy about that partnership. Thank you, guys. I absolutely love you. As well, I am working on something with NK Airplay, and we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to get on the show there and talk um, with them, and we're also going to put something together with Dope Nostalgia. We're working out the details, and it's so exciting because I just love everybody. Great. It's going to be great. Yeah, okay, so I had Tiffany's back here, but I have to raise her picture up because I had these new monitors put in for work, but it's Tiffany. I don't know if you can see it. She signed that... Uh, it was right before the mixtape tour, actually. She came to Edmonton and she played at a club and I got to meet her and 
super cool. But I gotta like put that up higher on the wall. <laughs> that would be uh, really good to do. So, um, oh yes, I think maybe I should, I'm getting closer to the actual announcement. And once again, um, this is really exciting announcement for the new kids on the block fans out there. Um, first of all, uh, I wanted to also give a shout out to Printer's Ale in Georgia. Printer's Ale makes a beer that's a New England hazy IPA, 7%, so it'll get you drunk. Um, it's called Donnie is the Talented Wahlberg. I recently reached out to them and we're going to have like a short little uh, partnership where I'm going to give them some shout outs on the podcast. I'm going to make sure I advertise the, their their beer straight out of Georgia, some good craft beer. And it's going to be awesome. So shout out to Printer's Ale. <laughs> All right. Yes, 80s Girl Forever. There's two New Kids on the Block and radio stations. They're not just playing New Kids. They're playing all the greatest hits, 70s, 80s, 90s, all of our favorite songs that we grew up on in that era. That's NK Airplay and No More Games Radio. And you can find them both all on the app Live365, or you can go to their websites as well. Um, later on, I'm going to be posting a link on my Instagram for all the social media, to how you can find everybody involved in this project that's coming up. <laughs> It'll get you drunk. <laughs> oh, I'm just having a a nude vodka right now. Just kick off my Saturday. Like I have the nerves right now about doing this, and I don't know why. But cheers. Hmm. Okay. Okay. So blockheads, check this out. We got together the biggest new kids on the block content creators that are out there. And we're putting together huge quarterly events just for the blockheads out there. And what we're going to do is we're going to do huge events for the fans. And they're going to be happening quarterly. And we're also going to be raising money for you don't got to be nervous, nervous. <laughs> And basically the whole Blockhead community come together for a huge cause and just create something big because this is the first time where every one of these new kids on the block groups are going to get together and try to create something huge. It is exciting putting this together with everybody. And I want to thank all of those guys because some of you guys have already been working so hard on this that I can hardly even keep up. But I love you all immensely and you have some great ideas. I want to thank uh, Nikki especially working on that logo for us. Okay, and we're going to tell you more about like the name of the group and everything eventually too. So. <laughs> I hope I don't miss anybody because I know there's there's quite a few of us involved in this and it's just an honor to be able to work on it with you. And I'm just gushing with excitement. What I'm going to do is, uh, who wants to jump in here with me and chat a little bit about this first? What an amateur. This is amateur hour over here. I don't know what I'm doing. No more games radio invite. <gasps> It worked. I still have my angelic glow. Hi, Kelly. You're glowing. You, you are angelic. I'm an angel. Thank, thank you so much for helping me this. Oh, I'm super excited. And thank you for playing the first episode of Dope Nostalgia today on your show. Absolutely. Was Absolutely. We got the weekends. We got our podcast people. And we just get it out so everybody can hear it, for sure. I'm so excited that... Uh, We've all got to know each other over the last what, couple of weeks or week and yeah, putting this thing together. Like, feels like forever for sure. And we can't, we're not giving away too much information yet. No. Because like, there's going to be a lot of planning and a lot of excitement, but we want the blockheads to know that they need to book off. You know what the first event's going to be? Can I tell them the, the date so they can book it off and get ready? I mean, yeah, we haven't settled on a time exactly yet, but definitely the date so they can plan ahead. Okay, so the first event is going to occur on Saturday, April 10th. Saturday, April 10th, and we're trying to try to figure out the time zone thing to try to make it um, as nice for everybody as we can. Maybe they could say in the comments, like, what time frame seems to work. Most stuff usually goes Eastern, and so the suggestion was, like, maybe around 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. on a Saturday might be decent. Eastern? Yeah. But I don't know how that works for everybody else. Yes, I think maybe if I have a poll, maybe NKOTV polls will have. I think we know somebody who might be able to do that. 
We know some poll experts. We do know some poll experts. <laughs> not that kind of poll. Poll. Um, not poll. A poll. No E at the end. <laughs> we didn't say that we were going to be PG, so. I'm gutter, so I'm sorry. It's just who I am, gutter. Girl. <laughs> Kelly, I want you to tell everybody who doesn't know about Normal Games Radio how it came about and where they can find it and what you guys do. Um, well, what we do is we play everything from you got your 80s, your 90s, your 2000s, today's music. Uh, we did begin because of Nuka's on the Block, of course. That's where our roots are going to be. Um, but yeah, we're a newer radio station and you can find our website at uh, nowheregamesradio.com. Uh, we have an Instagram, we have a Twitter, we're on Facebook, we have a Facebook community. We just did our first contest, and the prize was a uh, Bluetooth boom, like a Bluetooth speaker. And it was it was a nice little prize there. We gave that away today. <laughs> yeah. So there's going to be a contest every month. We have um, our famous little Sparkles, and she runs our community. She does an amazing job keeping everybody going. Hey, there's some new content in there. Um, so you do have to request to join that, but it's well worth the request. Um, so yeah, I don't really know what to say, but we got a live show every night of the week or every day mm -hmm. of the week. Uh, we do try to arrange it to uh, avoid the mass singer on uh, Wednesday nights. Not yeah, the super easiest thing to do, but we do try to make adjustments. And then we've got our two favorite podcasts on the weekends, our hour shows, and lots of stuff coming down the pike. So for sure. My so-called whatever. They're on their regular. Yeah. On there, the are, regular. there are Sunday podcasts. Yes. And I love what you guys are doing. Say it again. I love what you guys are doing. So thank you. Thank you. It's, well, we uh, it's really fun to listen to. Um, I was listening the other day and Amanda made me, AK made me laugh so hard because it was right after the day after Farmhouse Fixer. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to give away spoilers because maybe some people haven't seen it yet. Uh, he his hair dirty but, and he's worried about John's hair getting dirty. <laughs> yeah. When she said, she said, um, uh, the song your man had just played. And uh, she's like, I'm kind of questioning if he can be our handyman. <laughs> he can't be the handyman, but he could be the handsy man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't remember her exact words, but it was hilarious. Hilarious. I, she keeps me laughing nonstop. So she's amazing. And the things that come out of her mouth, I, she can't think about it before she says it, but it's epic. Um, JK's Rockstar is asking if they can yeah. stream in other countries. So our um, we have an app, three, six, Live 365. Um, and if that one won't work for you, then you could use um, Simple Radio app. And if that still won't work for you, we learned today that in the Netherlands, you can actually go to the website for Streama and look us up, No More Games Radio, and it will work in the Netherlands. So hopefully it will work for you. And That's yeah, fantastic. Yeah. It's amazing. I'm just so glad that anybody can listen in almost anywhere. I haven't heard of somebody say we can't listen, but many different chances there. 80s Girl Forever says she put it on today and WandaVision appeared instead. What? I mean, I wish you could have heard us, but WandaVision's not a horrible substitute. <laughs> have you watched it? It's it's really pretty good. Um, took me a second at first to get into it, and then it worked. But either way, no matter what, you can go to our website, nomoregamesradio.com. DJ Woodshed's right there, and she just said that. Her name's epic. We can tell whose guy she like, who whose guy she is, but yeah. <laughs> She's got a story on that, and I really think that people should tune in if they ever want to try to catch that story. Or you could ask her one day. <laughs> it's a fun I story. want to know. Maybe she'll come on here later and tell us. You should beg her to. <laughs> Danny's Woodshed, we're talking to you. <laughs> I'll never feel up? Her like you could. She's blushing right now. <laughs> You're welcome, JK's Rockstar. I don't want to take up all the time, so I want to let you get to the next next person. No, Woodshed, how you got your name. That's the <laughs> epic story. I'm going to let you get to the next person. I think Adrian said that she has uploaded her uh, update. So get her okay, and then beg, beg uh, Danny's Woodshed, see if they'll come on. 
Okay. Kelly, it was so nice having you here. Thank you. You too. I can't wait to see all the stuff we're doing. You guys stay tuned. Oh, it's, it's pretty exciting. I feel, I feel 12 again. Thank okay. you. Bye. Bye. I think Joey Joe taught us all how to, or Griffin taught us how to X out of these things. <laughs> cause, cause I didn't know I was, if I X out of it, I'm going to end the whole damn thing. And that's not what I'm trying to do. So um, I want to see also if anybody from NK Airplay is out there and want to come on and talk today too. Okay. If you do send me a request to come live, we're just giving you a little tidbit of what's happening. Save April 10th, Saturday, April 10th is the date for the very first new kids on the block fan event that we put together for you. Raising money for very, very deserving charities. Hi. <laughs> Good evening. It's probably, Good evening. I know it's getting late in your neck of the woods. So thank you for coming on with me. Yeah, I'm all um, comfortable for the evening. So this is Sweet. my comfortable wear. Yes, my husband's an accountant, so he's doing his accounting thing in the house. <laughs> does he have to work from home? He does, yes. It's a busy, busy time for him right now, so. Yes. Yay, no more games with you. Yeah, so. <laughs> hey, Lizzie. Hey, Courtney. So, yeah, this is fun. I'm excited for what's to come. I have my glasses on. Now, I want to let everybody know, because a lot of the folks have probably participated in some of your Zoom events, right? Yeah. So, so the My Soul Called Whatever community is huge, and so many amazing people have been on your show, fans, um, stars. You guys have done such a great job with it. Um, Thank you. For those people who haven't found the, your podcast yet, feel free to just let everyone know what it's about, what you guys are up to. So, my best friend Brooke and I started a podcast back in 2017 um, that we're still doing and um, just to give you a brief quick rundown Joy McIntyre was the one that sparked this podcast and we decided to do an 80s 90s and KOTV podcast so each week we do either an 80s 90s episode or we do a new kids on the block episode um, we do a lot of storytelling oh thank you Joy uh, so if you guys are listening right now and you've never heard of us and you have new kids on the block stories, we definitely want to hear them. So we definitely would love for you to send you us your stories at um, my so-called whatever at gmail.com. So yeah, that's, that's really it. We're going on three and well, we're past three and a half years now. So almost four. That's outstanding. You've really built a huge, strong community. So kudos to both I you. Love them. Yeah, our community <laughs> is amazing. Hey, Darcy. That's my friend, Darcy. Yeah. Sweet. Hi, Darcy. <laughs> um, yeah, our community is freaking amazing. They, they're the reason why we had Joey McIntyre on the podcast. I mean, they're the reason why we had Donnie on the podcast. It's, they're crazy. Um, crazy. Hashtag awesome. we are all and, Donnie girls. Yes. Hey, Kristen. Hey, Heather. So, yeah, we're we do the we do our podcast weekly and um but our community not they don't necessarily listen to the podcast so if you don't want to listen to the podcast you don't have to you can join our community we have a facebook group my so called whatever and yeah hey nkotb polls they and nkotb polls is here polls is gonna maybe make a poll for us to see what time zone is best for us to have our meetings. Yeah. yeah. Ha having our group events. So, hey, the Chris Young is here. Hey, Chris. <laughs> happy belated birthday, Chris. Yes. Happy birthday. Happy belated birthday. <laughs> I have what a feeling that. Happy birthday that... month. Rod. My friend Rod's here. <laughs> hey, Rod. Um, yeah. Your birthday, it's your birthday month. So you can say happy birthday. And March is like, it's. it should be just birthday celebration all month long that's what i say i have a cheers ready i have a cheers ready for when that goes down with chris when we do celebrate <laughs> so, awesome. so, I, yeah i really want to thank you for being part of this too and oh. there's just gonna be it's really exciting what's happening i i haven't been this happy and excited about something in a while so I think it's, it'll be really good. it's gonna be fun it's gonna be fun and i'm just so excited for like the group of people we've gotten together 
and I know you said you're we're probably going to be adding more and that's going to be awesome so there's a yeah. couple other groups I want to reach out to um would it be fair to mention them right now who I want to reach out to yeah um NKOTB the blog yes they are they are longer than we have been all around they are your key source of news of NKOTB news Yes, and then also um, the boys over at the podcast New Pod on the Block. I love them. They are amazing. Yes. Yes. We want to reach out to them too, so I'm yes. calling them out publicly. Awesome. <laughs> to <get into> yes. <laughs> so, oh, Lizzie um, wants to know what we're people. talking about. Lizzie yeah, I noticed a couple a people bunch of people just, just joined. For, for all of you who just joined, we just want to fill you in on what we've been working on. Um, all of the NKOTB content creators that are out there doing the thing right now have gotten together to create a massive fan community events. We're going to do them quarterly. And the first one will be coming up on Saturday, April 10th. Um, so book the date, get it in your calendars. It's going to be really fun. And so we're going to make it as big as we can, and we want you all to be a part of it. Yeah. So thank you, Nikki, for your time today. No problem. I'm going to go to bed now. Love you guys. Okay. Our, actually, Love you. Brooke Thank and I you. might be going live later, so maybe we'll see you later. Talk Sounds to you later. Good. Bye. Bye. All right. And uh, I'm going to see here what's going on with the uh, Rat Tail crew. I'm going to now, I'm going to ask Adrian and Chris, which count should I invite in? Which of you guys should I invite in? Should we try the Chris one first? Or is Nikki, or is, uh, sorry, is Adrian's working? Okay, sweet. I'll send an invite now to our friends at Rat Tail, our favorite YouTube channel. Oh, we're here. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. We're here. We got party people. Everyone say hi. Hi, party people. <laughs> <laughs> we're here for Chris's birthday party, COVID safe party. We're all vaccinated or tested, but we're so Congratulations. You. We love dope nostalgia. Oh my God. We love my so called podcast. We love No More Games Radio. We love I, NK Airplay. Well, we, we <laughs> love everyone, honestly. Yeah, so. we've been we, like geeking out over here. So we, we love, love you guys. Nice. We, I just watched this week's episode of Rat Tail. Another, first of all, the graphic with all the boys kissing you um, and John just being all cute and on the side. Like, what yeah. a great graphic. John didn't want any of that, apparently. John, John's like, you, you silly boys. You, <laughs> you silly, silly boys. boys. Um, Chris. Chris is Chris is our, oh, happy birthday. Lots of birthday love. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Um, why am I saying thank you? Thank, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> um, wait, so Chris does all our thumbnails. And did you see who he put right there in the front, almost kissing me on the lips? Mm -hmm. That would be Danny Wood. Yeah. So... Yes. Yeah. We're just manifesting that. <laughs> Perfect. By the way, do you see all the birthday love, Chris? Oh, thank you so much yeah. for the birthday. Oh, my oh God. God. They're so lovely. Oh, look, she's outside right now. Ah! <laughs> what, Eve? Sorry. Eve is, Eve just commented she's actually outside at the party. But anyway, we're so happy to be here. And Naomi, you did such a great job talking about this partnership. We are incredibly excited to be joining these wonderful content creators, so many like talented people, and just a chance to get together with Blockheads yeah. is so exciting. So we're so happy. We're so happy we're to, to be with y'all, and um, we're excited to get this popping. So if you head over to YouTube and you just type in Rattail NKOTB, make sure to subscribe. Do it. We're going to be doing updates on our YouTube channel for this project, too. So. You want to stay subscribed so that you get notified of all the amazing things that we're going to be doing as a collective. So. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> yes. We love you. We love you, Naomi. And it is. I, I love you guys, too. And I just want to take a quick cheers and happy birthday out there. To, Thank you to Chris so and much. Too. Oh, look at Rat Tail Glass. Ah, she yes. got a Rat Tail Glass. Thank you for all the birthday wishes, you guys. Really yeah, love it's been, I love these names on the we, J, JKS Rockstar. We got Karene out there. And... And KOTV fold. Uh -huh. We're so in <laughs> love with blockheads. Oh, we are. Can't handle it. We are in love, actually. We're kind of in love with blockheads, yeah. and we love you, Naomi. So yes, I love you guys too. Thank yeah. you for everything you've done and for like your amazing channel. We love it so much. We love we love dope nostalgia. Oh my god, we love 
We already said this, but we also love oh, my so called whenever. Love oh. <laughs> we also love AKOTV Pole, both the radio stations. This is going to be good. So, yeah. yeah. All right. We okay. love you. You guys take care. Enjoy your party. Thank yeah. You. Bye. <laughs> Bye. So, all the big communities, all the content creators of NKOTV out there are getting together to make a huge fan community event quarterly. The first one occurring on April 10th. Saturday, April 10th, coming up. More details will be coming out soon. So far, we're keeping it all secret, but uh, you'll, you'll be knowing very soon if you follow all of our social medias. And we're creating a special social media group just for these events as well. So we'll get all that information to you soon. And we're going to be raising money for charity. Hey, it's Kristen. Did you want to come in and say hi and uh, tell us about NK Airplay and what's going on there? And I, I would love that if you wanted to come on. But we're going to be raising money for all the charities. Hi. Hi. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? Awesome. I like your setup. Thanks. It's fantastic. So, Kristen, so tell me about what's going on with the NK Airplay nowadays and how everyone can find you guys. Um, you can find NK Airplay Radio on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. We also have a Facebook uh, community as well. You can find us on Live 365. Uh, and currently in about half of an hour, J-Block will be going on Saturday nights. He's a cool dude. Check out his show. Sweet. Uh, keep an eye on the socials. You can send him requests and all that, and he'll get them on for you. That's wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful. What shows are – when are you usually on? I am not a DJ. Okay. I help with the social media team. I help with the street team and all that. That's awesome. And if requests come in, I will help send them to the DJs. I look forward to doing some stuff with Dope Nostalgia with you guys, too. I'm really excited to talk more about yeah. that. <laughs> I'm glad you guys support the podcast. I really appreciate that. Yeah, no, it's no problem. And KO, we also, go ahead. Go ahead. It's okay. Uh, we also play um, 80s, 90s, and associated artists of New Kids on the Block. Uh, and, yeah. Perfect. So it's two great stations involved in this. It's two great stations, two great podcasts. we got a solid YouTube channel. Oh, it's just mm -hmm. going to be fantastic. So I can't wait till we can bring this out to the world. <laughs> yes. Yes. I know uh, NKOTB polls says it's uh, 2, 2 a.m. where they're at right now. So. I, I, oh, I, wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's cool. That's cool. I, I want to thank them. I want to give them a special shout out. Guys, follow NKOTP polls on Twitter to take part in all their fun new kids polls that they do. Strictly for fun and good times. Go give them a follow. Yeah. Um, and NK Airplay also has some new DJs coming out to coming on air soon. So keep an eye out for them and tune in, listen, and just enjoy the music. That's what we're here to do. <laughs> Yeah, just enjoy, and especially in a time like this when things are kind of crazy in the world, it's nice that we have these outlets to hang out with each other. So, thanks for your time. Mm -hmm. I appreciate. Yeah, you no problem. No Sweet. problem. All right, you take care. All right, you too. See you later. Bye. Enjoy your Saturday. You Bye. too. <laughs> All right, so. Everybody who's come by today, I'm really stoked that you uh, took the time to visit. Um, if you've missed the announcement, let me know right now in the comments, and I'll go over it one more time. But other than that, I think uh, we'll probably be wrapping up. And if, unless anybody – where's Danny's woodshed at? Let's see. I would like to have Let's Danny's try. woodshed on here. Let's check it out. Let's try again. Oh, it might work this time. It didn't tell me no. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Welcome. Welcome so much. Thank you for taking the time to come chat with me. Oh, no. Thank you for hosting the live and making me oh. my Instagram. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that this was an issue. I should have said hey, to do the updates, but whatever. We're here. I didn't know I didn't have the newest version, so I learn new things every day. We're here. Yes. Yes. Tell everybody your first name and if you want to. Oh, it's, just... <laughs> no, it's Katie. <laughs> Katie. Thank you, yes. Katie. Katie, or, um... Or the little you have headed pervert, if that's what Danny likes to call me. Are you the gutter girl? Are you a gutter girl, too? Sweet. Yes. yes. Cheers to that. I'm in good company. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really excited to hear your story. Okay. So we have to rewind all the way back to full service tour. We're going way back. 
I feel like it was yesterday, but it really wasn't. <laughs> so was going to the full service tour and back then when you got five star, you didn't know what row you were in. Like you got there and then you got your seats. So mm. before the concert, my girlfriends and I are sitting around and of course making jokes that involve the gutter. So <laughs> one of them was, you just want to be Danny's woodshed now, don't you? And I'm like, well, duh. And then somebody goes, <laughs> I dare you to put that on a sign. Well, you know what happens after somebody dares you to do something and alcohol is involved, right? Mm -hmm. So I took a pillowcase, put Danny's woodshed on the top of it and some strategically pointing arrows downward. <laughs> didn't think anything about it i'm like he's never gonna freaking see this so i go <laughs> in we do our five star it was fantastic got a hug from everybody you know and then i get my tickets and i have front slip and row <gasps> so yes. concert opens and my friend's elbow and be like do it do it so i hold up my sign and I didn't know this. Another friend a couple rows back had videotaped it. And you see, who was on the other side? It was Joey and Jordan. Joe sees it, cracks up, elbows Jordan and points to it. And he stopped. <laughs> like, so they stopped and laughed at me. Donnie's in the middle and completely oblivious. But what I saw was John. He's like scanning the crowd, doing his thing. And he looks down and he points and goes, huh. And then he stops and turns to Danny, who was next to him, and he elbows him and points. And Danny just looks at me and goes, wow. Oh. <laughs> did he so smile I'm, or wave or do, did he react other than like, He just wow. kind of does a kind of nod, shake, like trying to figure out like what's going on. So I made four to five new kids stop dancing and pay attention to me in the crowd, which was, you know, a cool moment. But oh, man. <laughs> And after that, of course, it had to become all my social media handles, and it's just kind of stuck. It's the perfect name, <laughs> and it's been a great story. Like <laughs> he was probably he was probably like embarrassed a little bit. Well, it took a while because I had it up again at the end, and you know he was just like he pointed and nodded like later on at the show. So now, which this is you know to show us how great the guys are. Of course, that's my identifier. Anytime I go to a concert. Like he'll see it, like he'll see it even out, like not even close and he'll like point and wave and you know, that kind of thing. So he, he's a cool dude and it was memorable enough that he remembers it, you know, years mm. later. So. Oh, wow. That's such a good story. I'm so glad you came on to share with us. I'm glad I, first off, I'm glad you invited me on. I love sharing that story. Cause you know, the guys are fun <laughs> and spending time with girlfriends is fun and the gutter is fun. And mm. Myself and No More Games Radio are super excited to be collaborating with everybody for community and for a good cause. So we're stoked. And, and you guys have already got like the ideas that have been flowing in this group are out of control and it's already like amazing what's going to happen. So yeah. the group chat yeah. is kind of uh, off the chain. It is. And in the days to come, all the fans are going to see as we slowly unveil what's going to be happening. So. Um, yo, what state did this happen? It happened at the Cuyahoga, I'm going to say this wrong because I'm not from Ohio, Cuyahoga Falls, a, a venue up in the Cleveland area. That's where it happened. So if anybody was at the full service concert in Cuyahoga Falls, check your YouTube because <laughs> there might be in the full, in the, in full service song, because there might be some, you know, stop pointing and laughing. I think I'm going to, when life goes back to semi-normal and tours happen again, I might have to come travel and see some shows and visit you guys and all because yes. I, since New Kids on, okay, New Kids on the Block have been in my town three times total. Yeah. So Jordan's been here twice on solo tours and uh, the guys, okay, so 1990, uh, Magic Summer, then the 2008 with Lady Gaga, Natasha Bedingfield. And then, and then NKOTBSB, which I went to the last two of those. So, mm -hmm. um, but the pa full, total package, full service mixtape tour, none of them came here because we're not like a huge market, but we have a brand new arena, a brand new like right. hockey arena. So we might get some better tours. Yes. And if not, you just come down and hang out with us and we'll all go together mm -hmm. and it'll be fabulous, which you should do anyway. Exactly. I can't, I can't wait to get my vaccine and go like, crazy visiting people and doing stuff one day one yes. day again yes 
and can <laughs> say, oh, maskless. Like, I don't know that yeah. that's ever going to happen again, but. It will. It will. It's just going to run its course and yeah, it'll become part of our lives and we'll get back to some kind of normal. Yes, but I, I I've, seen this, I've seen this posted on Facebook several times that says we will start healing when we can have music again, music and art and shows and go do things. And I believe that just because, mm -hmm. you know, arts heal. What, mm -hmm. we, what we as, you know, um, uh, out, outlets for communities were specific to blockheads, but as outlets for communities, community heals and togetherness and experiences. So I'm so excited for that. Me too. It'll happen. What does the bar stools mean? So bar stools are a specific type of VIP at New Kid concerts. Oh, right. So those okay. that are in the very front row along the stage, I'll sit on bar stools. So we, you know, they're bar stool seats. I need that. I especially want to witness FTF from a bar stool. Do you guys know about FTF yet? FTF? The new hashtag created by Rat Tail. <laughs> Tell me about it. So, so I just graduated, moved, and started a new job. So if it was just created, I don't know. Enlighten me. I wish they were here instead of partying to tell us. FTF stands for fuck the floor. Oh, so you mean the Jordan fuck me pants? <laughs> yeah. And Joey well, Joe too. Yeah. <laughs> and Danny. And apparently yeah. Danny does it when he breakdances at he the does. end. He does. No, just the, I'm like, I can't help it. She's grin. So a good friend <laughs> of mine ended up when Jordan did so uh the stingy tour. Two of my good friends ended up in the very front row mm -hmm. for the fuck me red fuck me pants and the eye sex and all that kind of stuff. So <laughs> So that comes over, and I'm in the back chilling out, like, trying to eye Victor, because I love Jordan's music, but I'm like, ooh, where's the Bolshevik? But anyway, <laughs> he's my second Vic. favorite new kid. Don't tell the rest of them. <laughs> so mm -hmm. they come back, and I literally was like, are you all okay? And they're like, no. No, we're not. So if anybody is front row for FTF. That would be destroyed. It's, it's pretty powerful, I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I've seen it for the Jordan girls in action. I wouldn't even know what to do with myself. <laughs> well, you don't do it with yourself. You grab them and run off, and I'll keep Victor from them, okay? <laughs> okay. There's a plan. I'll occupy security. <laughs> don't do it with yourself. <laughs> well, there goes that plan. <laughs> Change it up. All right. Well, gutter. <laughs> Katie Gutter. I love it. That's mm. me. Thank you for your time. I really oh, love to you so much for it. having me on. And you know, oh, I, uh, yes, I get Victor and Kelly gets Val. Just in case anybody is wondering. <laughs> <laughs> but yes, thank you so much for having me on. And again, I I can't wait to see what our collaborative communities can do. I feel like it's going to be some amazing things.